नमस्ते हिमालयन फैमिली वी होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड एंड ग्रेट सो फॉर टुडे सेशन अवर टॉपिक इज स्मूथ एंड स्लो विनयासा फ्लो सो लेट्स बिगिन दिस प्रैक्टिस वेन एवर यू फील लाइक कंफर्टेबल सिट बैक रिलैक्स इन एनी सीटिंग पोजिशन एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस सेशन विद क्लोजिंग आईज सो आई वॉन्ट टू प्लीज क्लोज योर आईज फॉर अ फ्यू सेकेंड एंड लेट योर माइंड प्रिपेयर योर सेल्ट फॉर द क्लास Now when you feel like closing the eyes close your eyes and then slowly release your hands on your knees just take your time but at the same time try not to straight the spine our purpose is we have to prepare the mindset for the class take your time keep your spine as it is in a natural position nice and then slowly take a deep breath in inhale and exhale breathe out inhale breathe in and exhale slowly and nicely breathe out take your time this few more second at the same time try not to control your thoughts let them flow with a breath let it come allow your chest to open more with every inhalation expand your chest and exhale relax Now we'll go for the chin mudra slowly. Straight your hands. Now prepare yourself for three om. We'll chant together. Take a deep breath in. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Keep breathing. Take your time. Now feel the vibration of Om within and around. Now slowly, by releasing your hands, turn your chin in, and by bowing down your head, slowly open your eyes. Namaste, Jesus. Let's begin this session with a simple and easy child pose. So wherever you are, prepare yourself for the extended child pose. Open your knees. and then gently release yourself and release your spine to the mat completely send yourself to the mat exhale take a time nice slowly try to straight the right hand then lift the left hand up come up on your fingertip look forward lift your chest up and then exhale try to press your spine down towards the gravity inhale exhale push your chest down inhale exhale push your chest down inhale exhale 
and exhale. Then place your palm down, inhale, lift up. Take your toes in, lean forward, open your chest, push your hips down. And exhale, slowly move back. Take your toes in, adjust your knees accordingly and then slowly release. Inhale, lean forward, lift and tuck your toes in, open your chest. Send your pelvis to the ground, allow your chest to open more. Exhale, lean back, nice and easy. Release the toes on the floor, on the mat and relax. Inhale. Go forward again, nice and easy. Send your pelvis forward, open your chest. Exhale, lean back, nice and easy. Release the toes on the floor, release your spine, release the forehead. Inhale, lift and round your spine. Tuck your toes in, lift your knees off the floor. And try to swing to the right side, keep your hand straight. Exhale, inhale to the center, exhale to the left side. Inhale back to the center and exhale to the right side. Keep the arm straight, do not bend the elbow. Inhale to the center and exhale, turn the foot out and then slowly towards the left side. Inhale to the center, find your plank pose, strong rounding the spine, squeeze your buttocks and hold. Keep breathing. And try to swing front and back nice and easy with controlling. Last two. And then slowly move to downward facing dog. I want you to open your legs more wider according to the mat. Oh, lift your hip higher by lengthening the spine. And hold here. Lift your toes off to the floor. And look forward in between your both hands. Your hands should be strong. Yeah, as strong as your mind. And then slowly lift your heels up. Fold your legs. Reach high with the hips. And then slowly straight both the legs by pressing the heels down. Lift the toes up. Exhale. Take your time. Inhale. Lift your heels up. Fold your leg. Lift high from the hips. And then exhale. Straight your legs. Lift the toes up. And then slowly by rounding the spine, lean forward and then again switch to the right side. Inhale to the center and exhale to the left side. Inhale to the center and exhale to the right side. Take your time. Inhale to the center and exhale to the left side. Inhale to the center and slowly we'll meet in downward facing dog again. I want you to please open your legs more wider. Keep pushing high from the shoulders, nice. Lift your heels up, slowly bend your knees, jump for malasana. Straight your hands, keep your hips higher. Do not sink your hip, lift your hips more higher and then hold here. Your palm facing upward, keep pressing the big toe and exhale, release the hands to the sideways and slowly sit in Dandasana. Inhale, fold the right leg with the next inhalation, straight your leg forward, point your toes, keep straightening the spine, look forward, exhale.
tuck the right toe in keep the spine straight keep lengthening the spine inhale reach high do not over arch the neck keep the length long like someone pulling your neck from the upward and make sure shoulder should be relaxed like this With every inhalation, keep lengthening the spine. Now slowly fold your leg inside. Place your leg underneath the hands. And hug your leg like a baby. And then swing your leg in and out nice and easy. Keep the spine straight. Lengthening the spine nice and easy. At the same time, keep smiling. Do not <laughs> uh, make or do not try to hold the breath. Keep breathing. The main purpose is you have to breathe at the same time as you're moving. Now grab the outer edge with the right hand. Straight your left leg. Keep the spine long as you are straightening the leg. With the next inhalation, lift the left hand in a diagonal way and open your leg back and hold here. I can open your leg more to the outside. Allow your chest to open more. Inhale, come to the center. Grab the foot, point your toes. Lift your chest up and hold here for one more round for three, two, one. Fold the left leg, place the left leg to the outside of the right knee. Straight the spine first, lift the right hand, hug your right and left knee, straight the chest and twist back. And exhale, twist, hold here. Now slowly come to the center, now easily release the leg, take your time, release the hands to the outside and then slowly lift yourself up, open your chest and look up towards the ceiling. Keep the neck long as long as you can, keep retracting your scapula and exhale slowly with controlling, release your hips down, take your time, straight your spine, now fold the right leg, keep the left leg active. Grab the foot, leave the leg higher and allow your chest to lift more up. Roll your leg out nice and easy, keep lengthening the spine. Now fold your right leg nice and easy, grab the leg to the outside, lift your chest, have that feeling of holding a baby and then swing in and out, let your hips to stretch more, keep the spine straight for 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, now slowly grab your foot from the outside with the left hand, straight your leg forward, straight your spine first, then in a diagonal way, lift the right hand up, and straight the right hand back, or you can bend your spine by binding the right hand behind the left, and hold here for three. Keep the leg active, lean forward, two, and one, inhale, come to the center, grab your foot nice and easy, point your toes, and lift your chest more higher. Exhale. Lifting the chest, roll the leg out, inhale. 
Exhale, release the right leg to the outside of the left knee. Take your time. Inhale, lift the left hand up. Hug your right knee. Lift the chest up and twist back. Keep breathing. Keep smiling. Take your time. It's your journey. Go according to the limit of your body. And then inhale back to the center. Release the leg. Place the hands to the outside. Open your legs more wider. Lift your hips higher and hold here for three, two, and one. Exhale, release your hips down. Bend the elbows, shift your weight forward, and then gently release yourself to the ground. Take your time. Now inhale, lengthening the right hand up. Release the left leg. Then slowly straight your right leg up. Grab the big toe with the middle finger and next finger. Nice. Release the left hand as it is. Now hold the leg here for five, four, and three. Then slowly fold the leg to the outside. Keep pulling the toes towards you and hold here. At the same time, keep smiling. Do not try to hold the breath as I told you in the beginning. It will, the more you breathe, the more the blood will flow easily. And hold here for three, two, one. Then allow your leg to stretch to the outside for the 45 degree. And hold here for three, two, and one. And slowly lift your leg up. Keep the leg as it is, turn towards the left side. And hold your leg for three. Keep the toes pointing. Two. And one. Then slowly release the leg down with controlling. Release the leg. Now without touching the ground, slowly again lift the leg higher. And turn the leg towards you and hold here for three. Two. One. We'll do one more round. Exhale. Go down with controlling. Do not let your leg fall down and then inhale, lift the leg up and then roll the leg inside towards you and hold here for three, two, one. Exhale, lie down on your back again, adjust yourself. Hold the leg easily for three, two, exhale, release the leg, take your time, adjust yourself accordingly. And then straight your left leg. Slowly lift the left leg up. Grab the big toe. And hold here for three. Two. One. Then slowly grab your foot to the outside. Nice and easy. Make sure the knee should be going outside, not towards you. And hold here. Take your time for three. Two. And one, then slowly straight your leg forward, nice and easy for three, two, and one. Now point your toes, slowly light on towards the right side, and do the same thing, lift the leg higher, keep the toes pointing, and exhale with controlling, release the leg nice and easy, slower, as slow as you can, and then slowly lift the leg higher, and then turn your leg towards you. Exhale, release the leg down nice and easy with controlling. You are doing great. We'll go for two more rounds. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, go down. Inhale, one more round. Lift the leg higher. Turn the leg towards you. Hold for three, two, one. And gently turn the leg towards you. Release the leg. Hold three, two, and then with controlling, release the leg down, take your time, exhale, relax. Now relax here for a few seconds, not savasana. Let's take your time. Now we'll go for one inversion pose, which is known as Sarvangasana, shoulder stand. Let me know whenever you're ready, take your time. Inhale, nice and easy, straight the leg, support your lower back. 
and then point your toes upward straight the spine keep retracting the scapula do not tuck your chin in keep it long and hold here for 10 9 8 keep breathing you can flex your toes towards you as well keep breathing nice and easy and then slowly fall your leg towards the head and now from here just try to interlace your hands behind the back keep the leg long and high do not over flex the spine or do not over flex the neck keep it long and then slowly by folding the knees to the outside lie down on a current asana and hold here for few breaths take your time keep pressing the back side of the head to avoid neck injuries and then slowly when you feel like lifting up lift yourself higher and exhale place your hands underneath your hips take your time and then slowly with controlling release the right leg first and then slowly release the left leg first and hold here for five four Keep the knees strong, keep pulling the big toes on the floor to activate the groin and to avoid the outward rotation of the knees. One and last few breaths, allow your chest to open more, have that feeling that you are opening the chest from the front face and exhale, relax, take your time, hug your both legs, nice. Now slowly lean back, lean forward, lift yourself up and then slowly with controlling hold here for three, two, one, bend the elbow and then again lift up for three, two, one and jump to the Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale to the upward facing dog, exhale, we meet in downward facing dog. Take your time, keep the spine long. And then slowly release yourself in the child pose. And exhale, relax. Now whenever you're ready, let's jump into directly for the headstand so rab bhai yahan se aap kaat dena theek hai main dobara child pose se start karta hu Now take your time and prepare yourself for the headstand then slowly lift up you can measure a hand like this in a triangular way keep the fist as tight as you can and then slowly adjust the crown of the head with the next inhalation lift the right leg and then slowly lift the left leg up find a balance squeeze the buttocks roll your thighs outward and hold here for 10 9 push high from the shoulders keep pressing the elbows 5 4 3 
you can support the wall as well if you are not finding the balance and one and slowly fold your both legs nicely tuck in hold for three two one and exhale release the leg and relax in child pose do not lift your head up after every inverse and make sure to relax in the child pose and let the blood flow in a natural way take your time and then slowly inhale up to the downward facing dog and then slowly walk through jump through and lie down on your back now before savasana let's do some supinal twisting lift the leg up fold the knees sip the hip to the right side release the legs down and then slowly twist your spine and hold Then slowly come to the center and then switch your leg to the outer side of the right. Now lift the left hand up. Do focus on pressing the shoulders down and hold. Take your time, breathe in and breathe out, nice and easy. And then slowly inhale, come to the center, hug your both legs. Lift up your head. Take your time, breathe in. and exhale gently release yourself to the savasana <laughs> let's go for savasana now 3 to 5 minute so just release yourself if you are having a arch on the spine i will love you to go for the bad kon asana position so it will allow your arch to remove and still if you are having the arch it's better to put something underneath of your legs like a bolster or something and then slowly adjust the shoulders accordingly and relax completely surrender yourself to the ground to the mat and close your eyes and relax and slowly come out from a relaxation by wiggling your toes by moving your knees slowly move your fingers move and like right and left left and right then slowly come closer to the knees 
straighten both legs to the outside and stretch both hands upward. Fold both legs towards the left or towards the right. And slowly with the timing, lift yourself up and sit in any comfortable position. Now let's end this session by chanting one Om and three Shanti, the peace mantras. Slowly close your eyes and go for the hands over the lap. Take your time, no rush. Now we'll chant one Om and three Shanti all together. Slowly take a deep breath in. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Keep breathing. Feel the Shanti within and around, the peace of the heart, peace of the mind, peace for the world. And slowly rub your both palms, generate the nice and good energy from the practice. And gently send the energy towards the shoulders, to the chest, to the abdomen, to the hips, to the knees. And then slowly give a big hug to the self. Be thankful for this practice, for your match, for the guru as well. Again, rub your both palms. And gently... Place your palms over the eyes. Take your time, take your moment. And by spreading the fingers slowly, open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you, Jay.